Alrighty guys, we're out here at one of my facilities. Uh, I got a call out this morning. Uh, the lawnmower is a Grasshopper 721 with the gas engine. And the complaint is that it only turns to the left. So whenever she's trying to drive it, this is a female operator. And uh, this is one of my actually uh, i've got some good operators and i've got operators that just absolutely are clueless when it comes to uh, operating machines but uh, this lady is very knowledgeable and has been doing this pretty much all of her life she's worked at the same facility and company that i've worked for she's been here nearly 40 years so when she calls me there's definitely an issue so let's go check this mower out and uh, let's just, uh, I got an idea of what it is. Uh, it's happened before. And I, let's just go see if my, uh, my gut instinct tells me what it is. And let's just see if we can't fix it real quick. Alrighty guys, what we've got is basically a three cylinder engine with a shaft that runs through with a fiber flex disc. And here is your uh, the drive for the Gemini transmissions. It's got a transmission over here and a transmission here and a double pulley. And as you can tell, oops, sorry, finger is in the way. This one don't give me any trouble. This spring-loaded idler right here puts tension on the belt for this Gemini transmission. But as you can tell here, this belt is loose as a goose. And if you look right here, oh, let me turn this off and turn the uh, flashlight on so we can see. So this idler arm for this transmission is down here a little ways, right there. So what you have to do is take this idler arm off. It's a three quarter inch bolt here, kind of like this one on top here. But the idler arm is below it here. And it operates this belt tension tensioner right here. As you can tell, I can push it down. It's just stuck see how it sticks well now is now that I've broken it free it's gonna start working now it may not need to come off it may just need to be lubricated and I've showed operators how to fix this yeah it's good to go now but anyway I'm going to show you guys what you need to lubricate to keep this from happening again. So with a 916 socket, let's go ahead and remove the nut for the idler pulley. Go ahead and remove this belt. You just push the idler pulley down with your thumb and slide the belt off. Very simple. And it'll spring up out of the way. After you remove the handle. Okay, that will gain us access to the lower removal of the lower idler arm. Now we just reach down and you unhook the spring and remove the idler. Alrighty guys, so basically what happens is you have a pivot point. This bushing here pivots inside of the idler arm here. It just gets sticky and rusted. So basically what we need to do, we need to drive this bushing out and we're gonna put a little slick them on it and uh, put it all back together. So as you can tell, uh, how dry 
this pivot bolt is and how rusty it is it's not good so basically what you want to do you want to inspect inside of here also and make sure your your nylon bushing is still good which this one is a lot of times that rust will get in there and just be like sandpaper on that bushing and just absolutely wreak havoc and guys let's not just limit this repair to this grasshopper machine nearly all manufacturers have this style of pivot if you have an idler arm that's not pivoting worth a darn just pull it apart and clean out the rust and clean all this up and then we're going to put just a little bit of grease on here and it will be good to go <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty guys, so when we get the idler arm put on, what I like to do, especially on these grasshoppers, since it's, it's so easy to get to, just pull up on the belt and snap it. And if that idler arm sticks, then you know you need to lubricate it. Good to go. I'll just put the other belt on and this job will be complete.